Hey folks, how you doing? Papa Joe here. It's another bright, exciting morning. Okay, well, it's another morning. I'm uh, still out here in Pueblo, Colorado. You know, back in the day, the only thing Pueblo, Colorado was known for was a publishing clearinghouse. But it was a big ordeal. And they're still active. Uh, however, in this day of like electronic, my wife gets that garbage all on the internet now. Drive me crazy. So, uh, it is what it is. I am uh, going to make a couple rants this morning, or a couple of videos this morning. I'm stuck here for the day waiting on my 34 so I'm liable to put out a few videos uh, I was inside eating breakfast and having coffee and uh, they had on the local channel TV Good Morning America which I used to watch them a lot uh before I got into politics. That little lid's gonna have to go. So anyway, they're covering different tidbits. And I don't know who does their editing and whatnot. But they contradict themselves and prove themselves wrong so many times. Thank God to keep that. And the wife's liable to call back. We was talking. I don't have much of a cell service here. Uh, so they were showing Donald Trump. And of course, they want to show him in the worst light they can. And you already know I'm not a big fan of Donald Trump. However, I am a fan of giving everybody a chance. And he is elected. So give him a chance. Don't purposely try to trash him. So they're showing him where he's talking about the cyber attacks on the election. And he made the comment that he knows stuff that other people don't. Being a president, he really ought to. They brought up some talking head from one of the alphabet groups, I think it's FBI or something. And uh, he was saying that Trump really need to quit making them comments if he wanted any credibility. Really? And the FBI has credibility? Did we forget the Clinton investigation? You might be trying to push it under the rug. I ain't forgot. Uh, I got news for you, Mr. FBI guy. Your credibility sucks. I would actually believe Trump before I believed you right now. You done showed where your true colors were and they was in the back pocket of the Clinton Foundation. You was back there feeding with a bunch of them. So you're the wrong person to go hollering about credibility, I'm sorry to tell you. Now does he, Trump, actually have information that the rest of us don't have privy to? I should hope so. He's the president-elect. Uh, Obama was fast to take actions and the Republican Party had been saying he had been too light on Russia. I don't remember saying that. I'd been saying Russia had a real man for a president we had a pussy for a president. That's what I remember most people, most Republicans saying. And now since Obama took such fast and drastic actions, and now people, Republicans, weren't happy. Now Republicans are still laughing at you. Republicans are patiently waiting for your ass to be gone. Everybody I talk to, that's what they say. They give me a day countdown. I have never known 
the general public to have a countdown to the day a president leave, leaves office. They sure are now, ain't they? So Trump made the statement that uh, cyber attacks are really hard to prove, and they are. Uh, any of the experts would tell you that. And he also said that the only true way to do, protect yourself from cyber attacks is to write down your message on a piece of paper and hand it to the courier. Well, that's true enough. Less than two minutes later, they got somebody else on there saying, well, Trump said that we needed to go back to newspaper and carriers. Really? That ain't what he said. And right there on Good Morning America, they showed both bits. Now, what really sucks is there was two of us in there. And I tried to make conversation with this guy, and that didn't go nowhere. Okay, fine, we'll watch the news. Everything that CNN, or uh, uh, CNN, Good Morning America is saying, might well be the same thing. This guy's head, bobble doll. It was just a bobblehead. He would just totally agree, and they're spoon feeding him. And he's eating it up. And I even made the comment, dude, they just said a minute ago, you heard what Trump said. That ain't what he said. Why don't y'all tell the truth? And I'm talking to the TV because this guy's a bobblehead. I don't talk to bobbleheads. And the bobblehead, he kept going. It's like, damn. Where did you go to have your brain sucked out of your head? Some of them old horror movies that we used to watch growing up? I think some of them's coming true. I think there is something out there sucking the brains out of some of these people. Or maybe when you sign up for your, uh, be a registered Democrat, they send you a dumbass pill. I don't know, but y'all really need to learn to think for yourself. Don't sit there doing the bobblehead. And once again, y'all know that I'm not the biggest Trump supporter out there. He beat the hell out of Hillary. How could we go with someone that done sold our country out and left our boys to die? How could I go with that? So the only other choice I had was to go with Trump. Once again, we're fed the better of two. We have to make the choice of better of two evils. I'd still prefer Ted Cruz. I ain't gonna lie. I still prefer Sarah Palin. Well, that was how my morning got started. Give me a shot of dumbass right off the bat. I'll get going. But that's the story of the bobblehead man. Oh, don't be a bobblehead. Hey, y'all remember, God loves you, so do I. Yes, I get going on my rants. And who knows what you're going to end up with today. God bless. Bye.